Hello, welcome back to the channel. Marvania here. This is a new series I'm starting and it's all about seeds. Themed name seeds and quiet life seeds. This season, I'm going to be working my way through Game of Thrones family names and places. I'll be letting you know just what's available to you if you choose to try out some of these seeds. And to be honest, some of them are okay. And some of them are just... If you want to play hardcore, those would be the, the seeds to, to try out. Um, alongside this, at the end of every episode, I will be finishing with a quiet life seed. Now, a quiet life seed is tailored to the player, like me, who want quiet life in 1.20 Minecraft. And I'm calling them quiet life seeds because that's what I like. So... If you don't want to start on top of a, an ancient city or you want to be forewarned that there's an ancient city right underneath you, then I can tell you that and you can avoid it. In this episode, I'll be letting you know all about the Lannister Seed. So let's get going. In the Lannister Seed, you spawn at approximately X16Z176 and your closest village is northwest. So if we fly over here, Shouldn't take long for us to get to a village. There you see the first house. So this is our village. It's a savannah village. But as far as I am aware, that is where your luck stops with this um, seed. Because if you want trail, ruin, uh, trail ruins or broken portals or things, they're a bit further out. Once you reach the village and you've finished reading it, you might want to head in this direction, which is northeast. And you can already see there's a, there's a mangrove swamp and it is huge. Um, you've also got some caves under there if you want to go mining. But in this part of the mangrove forest, um, you can see your first ruined portal. So let's go and see. Oh, there's a golden apple, a couple of bits of obsidian, a golden shovel with efficiency one, um, some golden nuggets. So not much, but something to get you started. If you're heading to the first stronghold at approximately 500 1588, then you pass this jungle. So if you're looking for cocoa beans, um, bamboo, I see a couple of bits of bamboo in there, um, jungle wood, jungle leaves, then you can get that. But also there's a little ruin under here, so you can actually catch that ruin as well on the way around. So there's an azalea tree. Let's just have a look. And yep, you've got a lush cave system right underneath. So this is quite good. I like lush caves. And also, if you dig right down, it takes you quite low. It takes you quite low. You also head towards a dark oak forest, so you've got your mushrooms. Oh, and there's a woodland mansion over there. So, yeah, with a bit of travelling, this seed becomes more interesting. So you've got your woodland mansion, you've got another broken portal down here, and we're still heading towards a stronghold. You've got more dark oak forest over there, and it looks like you have... Oh, it's a beach. But it's quite a big beach. Hey, right, so roughly at these coordinates, four seven three three five five, sorry, four seven three three five one five seven four. Um, it's in a lush cave biome, and you find the stronghold, and the portal is here, but it has no eyes of ender in it. So when you're coming here, make sure you've got a full set of eyes of ender. On the way to this stronghold, there's a trial ruin. Um, it's at 696-1480. Oh, 
but there are no villages on the way to this stronghold. You pass um, dark oak forests, you pass uh, jungles, sparse jungles, bamboo forests, but you do not pass any villages. So this is quite a quite a taxing seed. Um, once you've you've got that first ruined portal and that uh, first village. So there, if you want a little adventure on the way to the stronghold, this is the trial ruin, and it's at approximately 693-1478, and it's in a jungle, so it's not really a safe place to be um, trying to look for your trial. Tra trial ruins? Trail ruins. Trail ruins. Um, but it is the only one available to you near the stronghold and there aren't very many near the, the first village. So it's your only option if you're heading for this stronghold. There is another stronghold but it is over 2,000 blocks away from your spawn. So it is up to you which, spot, which stronghold you take. Not far from the um, trail ruins at 588, so about 100 blocks away, there's a jungle temple, so you've got that to explore as well. If you decide to go to the, po the stronghold that is minus 2236 um, and minus 412, you will pass a ruined portal. On the way, if you just head directly west, uh, which is what we're doing. There's also another village that you can stop off at and collect supplies. Um, is there a smithy at this village? It doesn't look like it. No. So, yeah, at least you've got another village to stop off at. When you reach this portal, it has one eye render in it. So, not much luck with the strongholds on this um, Lannister um, seat, but there are two strongholds, so you can actually use one for redstone and duping, whatever, and use the other one to get to the end. So, it's up to you. That's about it for the Lannister seat. Um, yeah, there are other things if you're willing to travel, and that is the major problem with this seed. In order to travel, you're travelling through some of the densest forests, dark oak forests and jungles, which are renowned for their creeper attacks. Um, and then, you, on the other hand, you've got savannas. I think the most interesting part of this seed is the actual mangrove forest at the very beginning. I think you could do a lot with that and build something in there. But again, if you want to get things done, there's a lot of travelling on the Lannister seed. Hello, welcome back. This is the second part of the video where you get the quiet life um, seed. Now the seed number is minus 185. 462873. And when I was looking for this seed, I was using chunk bait base and I was searching for a cherry grove with a village with trial ruins. Um unfortunately you can't ask it not to tell you that something's not there. So unfortunately, right underneath us, at the very bottom of the world, is an ancient city. So Apologies for that. It's unavoidable. But now you know to avoid it. Because everything else in this seat seems nice and peaceful. If you look at my little mini map in the corner, you can see a, a bunch of pink up there, which is a cherry grove. And there's the village. The villa, the spawn is minus five. And I spawned right on top of this tree uh, at height 101. And then the z-axis is 9. So the village is actually minus 176, 16. And it's west of spawn. As you can see, my little arrow is pointing on the mini-map to the west side. So let's go and explore this village. The 
don't know if it has a smithy in it. It doesn't look like it. But it is a plains village. There's farms, so you've got your food. So yeah, you start off at a lovely little village. There's a lava source over there, so you could get your obsidian um, pretty much straight away. And if we go back across, there's your cherry biome. So you can build things in the nice new wood type. It's actually really pretty because the river goes all the way around and I'm assuming it goes to the ocean. I might be wrong, but it goes all the way around. So it's, it's quite nice and calming. But I have a note that on the other side of this cherry biome is another village. So hopefully I'm going the right way. I'm going north. Northwest. Northwest. So it should be. There, there it is. Uh, you've got horses here, so that's good. You've got chickens, sheep, cows. And is there a smithy? Oh, unlucky. It doesn't look like there is. But, um, is that my favourite place? Oh no, it's not. There's a blast furnace. Um, so yeah, there's two villages relatively close. You do have to run a bit, but it's, it's open, so you shouldn't get caught out too much. And let's face it, if you start near this village, then you're less likely to um, end up going anywhere near the ancient city. So it's quite useful just to travel and start at this village. If you head towards the other side of the Cherry Grove mountain, northeast, you'll find a ruined portal partially dug into the land. Mm, not much in it, but it's there. I don't know yet. It is. It's dug into the land, so you've got you've got plenty of obsidian to collect. Yep. At three twenty and zero, if you could get rid of that lava source, there's a trail ruin. And there is another trail ruin at 350 minus 983, which is northeast again. So let's go and find that one and see if it's in a slightly better place. En route to looking for that um, trail ruins, I actually found a, an ocean ruin. Um, which I'm sure could be quite useful to some people. So there you go. Uh, is it cold ocean? It just says ocean. Not sure if it's cold ocean or warm ocean. Just says ocean. So it could be cold or warm. And as you can see, there's a ruined portal over there in the birch forest so i mean we have traveled a bit we're, we're about a thousand blocks out from spawn now so we're still looking for the trail ruin and there it is so and there's already a suspicious sand so yeah there's another trail ruin um there is also a mushroom island and it's northeast of Spawn. So what I'll do is I'll head out to the mushroom island and we will have a look at how big that is for anybody that wanted to live in a completely peaceful world. That would be the perfect spot. 
on your way to looking for the Mushroom Island, I come across this village and it's quite a big little village but um, I don't seem to be having much luck finding smithies. It is a village that you can stop at to get some more um, loot and maybe a horse to help you travel. on your way to looking for the Mushroom Island. You've also got this shipwreck. When you when you finally finish at the village and you work your way through the birch forest um, to that exit there, you've got a ruined portal there and you've got the shipwreck. And if you keep heading south, you're going in the right direction. It's quite a journey to the Mushroom Island, but if you're looking for a peaceful life, it is worth it. And you've got the best wood, because you pass a dark oak wood forest, so you've got everything you need here. I'm a bit biased when it comes to dark oak wood, but you've got everything you need here to build a lovely little island with all of your supplies. So, and there's also a little dark oak wood islands as well along with birch and some oak so you can mix it up a bit and there's a jungle right over there which makes it even better right so it's not it's not huge but it's big enough for somebody to set up a base on oh and there's a guardian um, monument right next to it so that's even better if you want to use the prismarine to build with yeah so this is your mushroom island and if this is the life you like then this could be quite the project and there's an azalea tree right next to it yep there are lush caves spreading far and wide under this mushroom cave uh, under this mushroom island there's also an amethyst geode right over there wow and this is somewhere i would love to make a base because a mushroom island teamed up with a lush cave it's you could do so much to change, transform the Mushroom Island into something much, much nicer. So there, there you have a Mushroom Island that actually has a lush cave underneath it. So pretty much for most of your journey, you're going through jungle right next to Dark Oak Woods until you get to this area here. You pass by that huge hill over there and you get to here and again there'll be an easier way to get to it but your stronghold i seen it a minute ago ah there it is under here the unfortunate thing about this stronghold is it's right next to an ancient city so as long as you don't dig too far down, you should be safe. But the portal room is over here. Oh, how many eyes of Ender does it have? One. So you need to have a good amount of eyes of Ender to actually make it to the end. So that is your stronghold. Um, other things that um, you might want to explore when you're feeling brave enough and I will show you them when I get back to spawn. Right, on our quiet life seed, if you're looking for a bit of adventure, there's the, there's the ancient city. It is quite far away, well far enough away from some of the mine shafts which are over here and over there 
Now you can see the coordinates on my little mini map at the top if you want to take those coordinates to dig down to get to them. But there are uh, there are a lot of mine shafts, and there's a spawner. I don't know what kind of spawner it is though. It's a skeleton spawner. So yeah, you're you're getting a bit close when you get to here. But there are a lot of the mine shafts that don't cross over with the ancient city that you could explore. I would love to say safely, but that's not going to happen. But all of these over here, these are all pretty much directly under spawn. There's the village. That's the village across from spawn. So you really want to go down somewhere around here and you'd be safe from the ancient city as long as you didn't go that way. Um, so that is it for our quiet life seed. Um, I hope you liked it. Yes, again, there was a lot of traveling, but in order to get a quiet life, sometimes you have to go that extra, extra mile. Oh, and one more thing, there is also a zombie village. If you want a quick and easy way to cure villagers and get cheap trades, there is a zombie village at minus 224, 704, and it is southeast of Spawn. Um, there are other trial ru ruins northeast of Spawn. There are three of them, and there is another one southeast of Spawn, but that is about one and a half thousand blocks away, so it is a bit of a journey. So, yeah, if you keep your eyes open, there's a lot to do on this seat. And if you like building in the jungle or the dark oak woods, it's perfect. If not, you've got the Mushroom Island or the second village, which is across that way. And this is a nice little, quiet, peaceful seat. That's been it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching the Lannister seat and enjoying the quiet life seat. And I will see you next time.